Welcome everyone to the third part of our show. It's coming up to two o'clock here on this Tuesday afternoon with Alan and Wolfson and Barry Fear here. And to open the third part of our show, we'd like to talk about eating three cheeseburgers. Now, would you eat three cheeseburgers? I would not think so. So, joining me now in the studio to discuss all of this, good afternoon, Alana. Good afternoon, Barry. Thanks for having me this afternoon in the studio. Well, would you eat three cheeseburgers and feel sick? I, if I was hungry, I probably would try to eat that, but I would then probably feel really sick after because of what, the what? dairy, I reckon, like you. Well, the amount of cheese and dairy that was on, that was mm. on the burgers, guys, mm. whoa, way too much, I think. Mm. Somebody in Hungry Jack may have made a double batch mm. of cheese sauce, I think, mm. or, or raided a supermarket dairy cabinet <laughs> and, and brought a, a whole heap of tasty cheese. Well, now it's time to bring up the segment we always bring up, and it's an important one. We open the show with this. Earlier, or I did drink plenty of fluid today. It is very hot, and here's my upsider to tell you about it. Yeah, that's right, Baz. Um, especially in this weather, um, you don't want to get dehydrated. And we did talk about this earlier on, dehydration is not a good thing, guys. So, so please drink your fluid, stay hydrated, stay out of the emergency department because there are other people in there that haven't taken the heat of the warning and Stay hydrated. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's exactly right, Barry. Um, you know, don't make don't wait until it's too late, hey. Because until if you wait until it's too late, guys, then it is a disaster. You will end up in a hospital on a drip maybe overnight, mm. perhaps a day or so. So please do drink your fluids, stay indoors like my upsider and I am doing today. It is really too hot to be outside today. Here's my upsider. I couldn't agree more with what Barry said, especially in this weather. Barry and I, we've got a cooler on that's just keeping us cool but not too cold. Um, we've been drinking a lot of fluid and we've been staying indoors haven't we Barry? And, and I'd like to talk about now um, or very soon on the, the show about um, privacy and confidentiality but that's coming up in the next video um, sometime next week on the show, but I can honestly tell you that um, we ha have had such a lot of fun putting the, vid the videos together and the adventures don't stop until we get to the top. Here's my upsider. I love that, Barry. The adventures don't stop till we get to the top. That's fantastic. That can be a hashtag, can't it? Can yeah. be a, a slogan. I love that. It's yeah. really clever. So, so, so we've got plenty more adventures coming up over the next couple of weeks. We may be going back to Channel 
Then again, we had such a good experience last time, mm. and here's my offside. To tell you about the Sunday trip to Channel 10. We had such a great time. It was so much fun. We went on the Sunday. Um, Barry and I met up a bit earlier before the show so we could uh, make sure we were, could take some photos, could do an opening segment. Um, we had so much time. We got the, got the taxi in. We were the first ones there. We, got, we were the first ones in the studio as well, Barry, weren't we? Straight yeah. in there. Yep. And it was it was fantastic. The the host was so nice to us. Um, and they said that next time, you know, if if they're doing the the seg the opening kind of segue to the ad, that they'd love Barry to do that, which is very exciting because it means that this could be Barry's first time on Channel Ten. And who knows? I could be on that so. Watch this space views mm. as well as see me in person. You could see Alana and myself on the box. Mm -hmm. And what a great time that we had at Channel 10. Look out for the recent photos and videos from Sunday Adventure. Uh, earlier on, I also did a video on phone manners. Here's my offside. Barry's very good with his phone manners. He's very polite. Um, he's also very good at, he texted me today when he was running a little bit late, um, which is very good. It's very polite and it lets the person know what's happening. So, you know, hearing that, that, you know, Barry had texted me, I was calm, I knew that he was okay. Um, so, yeah, it's, very, it's a very polite thing to do. So, it's no good not texting someone to let them know where you are. And that is the next subject on, on this afternoon's show.